Shalom, shalom, family. Hoping all is well and hoping that you guys did miss us because we missed you. But we was exhausted this week from our um, our meetup, but it turned out beautiful. Y'all moved and did an awesome job. Um, I want to thank you guys for all your donations. I want to thank you for your love, for your prayers, and just keeping us lifted up. Just keeping us lifted up. Well, let's just begin with prayer, and then I want to give a quick um, Bible verse, and then we'll dive right into what y'all are saying. Father, we come to you as humble as we know how to say thank you for choosing us and coming to get us and getting ready to make a move, Father. We've all been waiting for so long, and, and so many are so ready to go. We thank you, Father, for your beautiful angels. We thank you for who you are in our lives, for your guidance and direction and for your word because if you don't send your word through your prophet we will be a lost generation so we thank you for that and we love you from the bottom of our heart may you continue to keep us keep us safe through what's coming up and you're telling us to buckle up father and to be aware of uh, many things so we just want to say hallelujah and praise you and as as we and i decrease you increase father let your light shine let your beauty go all the way around this world as you tear it down and build it up. We praise you, Father. We glorify your name and who you are. And we magnify you, Father. In your precious holy name, Yahshua. Thank you. Okay, family. Okay. So let's get this little scripture here because I am elated about some things. So Revelations 12 and um, 1, it says, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars who are those 12 stars they are the 12 tribes of judah of israel i'm sorry and she began with child cried travailing in birth and pain to be delivered so this is what all we've been going through all of this it's just a lot going on. And if we don't have this pain and all of this going on with the, just one thing after another, all of this confusion, these fires, and there's raging wars. It's just so much going on. If we don't, this is the pain during the travailing time when a woman is having her child. And the pain as we get closer to the birthing of this and to be delivered is just going to be more intense. And that's why we're feeling tired and exhausted. And it's just so much building up of stress in our lives and things because it's time is near. So hold on, hold on, and hold on because Yah is coming. He is coming for his children. He is not going to leave his loved ones behind. Just like you will not leave your loved ones behind, your children. If you had an opportunity to take your entire family you would just do that. You would take your entire family. Our families are being stubborn right now. So we have to just pray, keep them prayed up and hope that they make it in. Um, some are not going to make it because my family, some of my family just told me they're not coming. So that's how I know all, all will not come. We're all, it's going to be a remnant just like the word tells us. It's going to be a remnant. So, okay, so let's get down to August 26th. That first day of the um, meetup, we actually got together and we um, introduced ourselves and we shared um, our life's journey. And that was supposed to really connect us together and um, understand who that person is because we were there to be chosen as leaders and helpers, right? So, and he only wanted certain ones. He wanted me to close the doors, and that's what I did. So, he has made his choice on the leaders and some, a few helpers. So, he told me to um, go on and open the door back up as of yesterday for helpers. So, we need more helpers in every state. So, we have leaders north, south, east, and west, and we need helpers north, south, east, and west in the U.S., not in um, Africa, the motherland or U.K., right now he said this is where because this place is is judah's gonna leave first so 
as far as leaders, let me just give you a description of what he says that he's looking for, of what their um their position will be. He said they will be patrols and maintain order for swifter movement along the way. Maintain order, get guidance from our angels and signals when necessary. Some may have to gather at times. He said, it's, meant, it's many coming, but still a remnant. Okay, here we go with helpers. Um, he said, they will gather a daughter. He said, help the elderly and the children. Help move the weak, the weak, the sick, and those that have not been healed yet. He said, they will drive many to the shorelines where the ships can dock. What is that? Can dock. So we need to be where a dock is where we can load up. He said time ain't long. So join the groups, lead, join groups, leaders, and helpers to work together. As he tear down and rebuild. So he's going to tear down this country. Okay. He said first on board will be blessed. So he said the groups will grow larger to spread over to Africa, daughter. He said, it's time to connect with those over there in Africa. He said, many in different parts, but stay close to South Africa because our ships will dock in the territory. Okay? So for those who's going to go ahead and leave, and I know there are some that people are leaving every day, leaving. But for those who are leaving, keep in mind, just try to stay closer to South Africa if you can. So I do have a connection for Ghana. I have a connection for Nigeria. And I have a connection for um, Tanzania. So if anyone is going that way, I know Ghana is not that close. Neither is um, Nigeria. But those are just the connections that I have. So now as we gather, we're going to need transportation. And so that's what these meetings will be about. If we put these people, different people, helpers and, and leaders together in groups, we will be discussing things of that nature. And it's time to do it now. It's time to do some research so we can all come together. Now on Sunday, um... He really came through and he anointed. He did some anointing in that room. I'm talking about for real. He anointed his children with different gifts and things they need to be um, delivered from. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful setting. It, it rained first. And when it rained, he was just saying that he was washing away the sin and cleansing the chosen ones to move for him. And he said, and they, he said they will do much. He said that the Ruach came through in the spiritual realm to cleanse them, the ones that needed, you know, some, some areas that need to be cleansed. So as we move forward, moving forward, you know, he's saying that he, give, he had gave out some anointing. So many of them in there have their anointing. They are blessed with some great gifts, some great, great gifts. And he said the men will move like, like a lion, daughter. And then he said we are out of America soon. And so he is saying that he he's going to take as many as he can hold. So as many as we can um we, we're going to be able to take a lot more this time. He said as he's taken in, he wants, um, he wants people to be in twos. So it'll be like husband, wife, brother, sister, brother, brother, sister, sister. So he's going to take them by twos. Um, after that, we're going to make sure that we have the um, journey prayer warriors to to start praying um, these witches 
and their witchcraft and pray that stuff away. Pray them out. Just pray them that they will go and disappear. They just cause havoc, bro. We just need our prayers to continue to go on on a regular basis. Just remember, we walk as one the day of return. We are one. Remember that we're going to need different types of trans transportation that's going to be able to gather more than one, one or two or three or four people. We need something that will hold many. Um, and we will go more in detail. I won't do that on, on this channel. Um, we'll go more in detail on how, where, and when. But I just need some all to go ahead on and sign up. And um, we have other people on board now, so it won't just be me. It will be some other people that will be able to keep up with the numbers because you will be under a different leader. So, yeah, the day of return, our meetup was awesome. That's all I have to say. And he's right now, he's giving me bits and pieces. He didn't give me the entire plan. Um, but now we're in the mode of transportation, the movement. And as things, you know, progress, the angels are just, and he's going to continue to speak. So I guess I want to end this because the main thing is that we need to get the helpers on board. And that is very important right now. So look, if anybody that you know, if you have a friend or whomever you, is this ready to go and that's willing to help, and serve for y'all please speak with them and let's just get this on the road um so we can start meeting having some meetings um as soon as possible and then i can give a little bit more detail on things um be more specific um but just know time is here time is now he says to do it now so let's rock and roll i want to thank everyone who came out to share this such awesome, awesome moment. Um, it's just unbelievable. But I want to thank everyone who came out, who um, traveled distance. Um, I know you're tired. Maybe you're rested up now, but um, I just want to thank you for taking the time out for y'all, for being there. I want to reach out to my sister, Ann and Betty, um, who prepared the food. And it was so delicious, and I kept... Um, getting raised over the food. It was so wonderful. And just the fellowship and, and um, sharing of one's testimonies and one's journey. And you can see how y'all was moving in everybody's life. So I want to thank everybody who helped put it together. Um, even when they got there, everybody is hands on. Everybody, when I tell you we worked as a group, they came in just, can I do this? Can I do that? And just everybody just went in and just just started doing everything just to make this happen and it did and it turned out well um everybody was happy with it and they were happy with what y'all was telling them and what y'all was calling them to do so family come on board and um see what y'all has for you um even if you can't do anything but maybe make phone calls for someone um checking on different things um different people or whatever i mean we need all the help that we can get to make this happen um it's gonna happen regardless if we have the people or not it's gonna happen because the angels are there we have he said there are going to be some in the spirit realm as well as some in the natural so we're just going to stand on his word what he says is what it is and i just want to say i love you much i will have another um video because i got behind last week because i was doing so much i couldn't get the videos out but i do have another video that I want to share. And then he said something to me um, yesterday that I do want to share. I think it was just yesterday on the first. Yeah, it was the first. And he said a little bit today. Not much, but he, I do want to do a video on that as well. But I did want to get this out so we can get the helpers to start emailing me. Um, so we have names. I do, like I said, I do have some names from a month or two or three ago. So I can try to pull those names up off my um, email and start sending out messages and writing down everyone's names so we have a group like we did before um, 
So, yeah, family, stay in his word, walk in his word. Don't let what you see in the sky put fear in your heart. Y'all got you. And he's going to protect you. And whatever's going to come up, however we got to buckle down, y'all are still there. He's going he's gonna to keep you. You got to hold on to that because he's there. He loves us. And I love you too. Much love. Walk in his commandments.